Well, good morning to you all, my dears. <laughs> wow, it is early. Okay, so some of you, it, you might not feel that this is early, but it's nine o'clock here where I am, and I don't usually get up this early. I am a night owl, so I sleep in. But mom and I and my Aunt Darlene are gonna be gone for the day, and I had to video this, uh, get it up on YouTube, because I am so excited about the package that um, got to me yesterday from Lavender Tatum of uh, Duck Lane Vintage on Instagram. And oh my gosh, you guys, <clears throat> the main thing that I want to show you, it has been quite the odyssey getting to my house, but it is here and I'm so excited. <laughs> Don't know if you can tell, but I'm really excited about this. I hope you're excited too. Uh, but first we're going to talk about the other things that I have purchased since I purchased the, the wee little thing that I'm going to show you. And <clears throat> those are, and I'll do um, better uh, pictures of them later when I get home. But I'm trying to do this before Mom and Aunt Darling get here. So this is a 100% hand-sewn petticoat. And she is in dire need of a good soak. But she's beautiful. This is scritchy, scritchy wool. So this would be a wintertime petticoat. It's 100% hand-stitched. And how it is shaped... And the fabric that has been used and this stripe wool leads me to believe that um, 1850s, 1860s, so it is quite old. And this is a handmade crocheted trim in wool, brown wool. And she's in, she's in sad shape. She's got some holes and some tears and some sadness going on, but she is absolutely fabulous. And so she does need to be in the museum. Sometimes I laugh when I see, um, uh, not laugh, but I, I find it interesting when I see on eBay or Etsy when somebody's selling something that's museum quality. <laughs> and this is a museum, and that is sad, so it's museum quality for me. <laughs> but yeah, it is, it is wonderful. See, we've got some sadness going on, but she's pretty old. There's a possibility that she could be 150 years old, so... You know, I don't know what I would look like when I was 150 years old, but um, yeah, this is wonderful. I am so loving this, um, almost called it a corset, petticoat. And then I got these wonderful, this wonderful pair of 1920s, 1930s tap pants in silk. Oh, they are so pretty. Look at that beautiful lace. So that's fun. And then this, y'all know that I love... I love my crazy quilts, <laughs> but this is a crazy quilt that was turned into a jacket. Isn't that pretty? And I don't know how old the quilt is. Um, maybe 1920s, late teens era, I'm not sure, but look, there's even lace for a faux pocket. <laughs> so that is super fun. I saw that on Lavender's stories or um maybe i don't know but i saw that and i said okay that needs to go into the the crazy quilt collection so it's here now for the main the main hold on i gotta put that on the counter behind me and then we're gonna put the petticoat behind me now this right here you all know that i love odd different unusual items and folks that's what this is i'll give you a, a couple seconds to maybe guess what it is and then i will reveal it's not even wednesday i thought you know this would be fun to do for what is it wednesday but i can't wait and, oh and when i got it um while it was on its way to me i thought you know i'm gonna do an unboxing video but it got here yesterday and we had company and I am not good at being patient, and I needed to see it now. So I just went ahead and opened it without videoing it because I'm impatient. So, okay, have you have you thought about it? I'm going to show you down here. It's got these little wheels. Do you see that? Do, 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 do. So we'll hear. There's four of them. Well, there's three of them. And they're little. I've got to find 
a replacement for one of them. I have a, a medicine cap, no, a, a vitamin bottle cap under it um, that is that's holding it up for right now, but okay. <laughs> you guys, I'm so excited about this. Are you ready to see what this is? <laughs> Okay, so this does need a little bit of help, and I did clean it up. I uh, spent a goodly amount of time, and I'm sure that the people who previously owned this cleaned it too, but I wanted to just make sure that it was super clean, and I'm going to uh, get together with Greg um, and see what kind of finish or something that we could put on it, because, you know, there's wear marks on it. I just, I just want to tighten it up, make it pretty. Okay, I'm done talking. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted to tell you. There are two screws missing, and so if the the lid is a little bit wobbly, that is why. Are you ready? It's a toilet. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, so back there, that's where it needs um, some screws. People, this is a commode. Is that not the most fantastic thing in the world? <laughs> I'm so excited. I love it so much. Thank you, Lavender. Oh, this delights my heart. It's on wheels. <laughs> okay, so back here, this is leather, and it's even trimmed with beautiful trim. Isn't that pretty? But this is lav lavender. Sorry, this is leather. Leather, lavender. Um, this is leather. And this is a reproduction of a Sears and Roebuck Company um, catalog. But they would have placed, you know, if, if, if the household wasn't buying toilet paper, toilet paper was invented at the end of the 1800s. I'm not sure when. But a pocket for your um, <clears throat> uh, wiping material. <laughs> Isn't this fantastic? Okay, and so it's not that big. It really isn't that big. And then you have this seat that you would sit your tushy on. And then this pops up. And at some point in time, um, somebody cut these out. This is not, it, this does not appear to be the original chamber pot I have gone through. I have washed this. I have scoured this. Um, this is an enamel one. I might be on the lookout for a more pretty one to, I mean, because this is a throne. Hello, we need it to be pretty. <laughs> so then they would take this out and enter said chamber pot. Um, I need to go through and vacuum this. I didn't um, vacuum it last night. There's, there's, um newspaper but this piece right here let me reach in there so this piece right here was cut out from here and i've got to go through the wrapping because i believe there were two in one right there but yeah is you guys <laughs> i'm so excited about this lavender thank you for selling this to me i remember when she uh went to i think it was an estate sale and she was looking at it in her stories and she says, look at this. I thought it was a side table. And then she lifted up the lid and I sucked all the air out of the room. And I said, I got to have that. So I immediately messaged her on Instagram and said, uh, that needs to come and live with me because uh, the museum has got to have that. Just look at, isn't it neat? Now I'm going to do some research on it. I haven't found any... Um, numbers, patent numbers on it yet. I do want to do a full research on it just to see when it was made. I'm thinking late Edward, not like, bleh, sorry, late Victorian era. But yeah, is that not amazing? Okay, to me it's amazing. I don't know what you all think, but <laughs> I am delighted. I am pleased as punch, as my grandma used to say. So anyway, there's my commode. This is my, this is the excitement of the year in antiques, everybody. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm done giggling and being a goof. I hope you all have a good Friday and a good weekend. And I will see you next time I get something fabulous to show you. All right. Toodaloo.